This video is brought to you by Squarespace. We are disembarking here. Apparently we have like 15, 20 minutes to visit a little waterfall. In we go. It's been it's been a nice journey, scenic journey so far. Well, good morning, good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning, guys. Greetings from beautiful sunny Ushuaia today. I know. We had two days of almost like Armageddon weather compared to this. <laughs> we so really did. We are really appreciating this gorgeous day. This yes, morning. and perfect weather for today's activity. We mm -hmm. are going to be riding the train to the end of the world. Indeed. So exciting. We're actually, we've arrived at the station and we're going to be boarding in just about 30 minutes. So. Yes. We're going to snap some photos, show you around, and then we're going to tell you more about this historic and iconic train here in Patagonia. Exactly. Fuegian Railway, better known as the Train of the End of the World, is a steam railway located in Argentina's Tierra del Fuego province. Why would you need a train at the end of the world, you ask? Well, Ushuaia was initially developed as a penal colony for repeat offenders, with the first prisoners arriving in 1884. The prisoners were put to work building their own prison, which meant transporting rock and timber from the nearby forests to the town, first using oxen pulled wagons and eventually this narrow gauge railway. Back then, this was known as the train of prisoners, and the prisoners had to complete the journey twice a day to and from the logging camps. Today, the train at the end of the world has been developed into a heritage train, and it's considered the southernmost functioning railway in the world. It's a must-do activity for anyone visiting Uswada, and more so if you're a train enthusiast. All right, guys, so now let's talk money matters. First up, the ticket to ride the train to the end of the world. There are three different classes. We are going in the tourist class, which is the lowest class, the cheapest class. That is actually 30 US dollars per person. And it's the same price whether you wanna take the train round trip to the park and back, or whether you're just taking it to the park and then getting off and spending the day hiking in Tierra del Fuego National Park. And then aside from the tourist class, you have two higher classes where you get fed. Um, there's one higher class where you get a sandwich and I believe two beverages and then there's an even fancier class departing at lunchtime and in the afternoon where you actually get a meal and you can choose like a lentil stew, a lamb stew, they've got wine. Regional dishes. So, regional dishes. It's a bit fancier. It's a bit pricier. I believe it was over $80. Yeah. So we were like, you know what? It's an hour train ride. I think thirty dollars. <laughs> we're we're going to be fil worth. filming mostly the the scenery. Exactly. So, yeah. We just want to enjoy the views. And then the other thing you also need to pay for is admission to the national park. Again, different price tiers for the park depending on where you are from. Um, for foreigners, it is five hundred and sixty pesos, which would be nine dollars. If you are Argentine, but from outside of province, it is 180 pesos, which would be $3. And it's even cheaper if you are from the province of Tierra del Fuego. And you have to pay for this. They've said I'm from Germany. My gosh, they got that wrong. <laughs> I mean, maybe, I'm just looking at this nationality, maybe they looked at German. Your, they looked at your last <laughs> oh name gosh. and thought you were... Thought yeah, my last name. Bergner. That explains it. Um, but as I was saying, like even if you're riding the train and then turning around and coming right back by train, you still have to pay the entrance to the park. Even if you're not planning to hike, you're not planning to stay there. Uh, so keep that in mind. They have the ticketing booths as soon as you arrive here at the train station. So you'll have to get your train ticket, get your park pass and you are all set. Also, we are boarding in like 15, 20 minutes. So let's head on over. We'll show you a bit of the station and yeah, let's do this trip. Number 
Buenos Aires y sus maquinistas hoy serán Juan y Joyman. This train journey begins at the end of the world station, which is located 8 kilometers west of the city of Ushuaia. The railway then travels along the Pico Valley and the Toro Gorge, and it's a very scenic journey. We loved seeing all the horses. All right, guys, so we have arrived at Macarena Station. We are disembarking here. Apparently, we have like 15, 20 minutes to visit a little waterfall and also the silly photos that we took with the prisoners. You can get those here as well. This is the train. Show us our seat. We're right here. No, no, no. We were the very last table, oh, my friend. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Yeah, we are. Here we are. How's it been so far? It's been fun. We weren't on the train very long before we got off, but yeah. it's a nice little place to walk. A little waterfall. Very busy. Very busy. I'll oh, say. Oh yes, but, um, for sure. But it's been it's been a nice journey, scenic journey so far. Yeah, I'd say we maybe rode the train for like five minutes before we got to <laughs> yeah. Macarena Station. I, if even that. <laughs> maybe, yeah. Yeah. And then once you get here, there's like a little waterfall to visit. So yep. we did that. And you can also buy the the pictures that you take before you board with the the prisoners. That's right. Because I mean, this train was used for prisoners to transport them Indeed. back and forth. Indeed. Ushuaia was a penal colony, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Humble origins, huh? Yeah. We then continued the journey into Tierra del Fuego National Park, eventually arriving at the park station. As we mentioned earlier, this is where you have the option of disembarking and spending the day exploring the park. Though keep in mind that you need to make your own way back into town either by shuttle, taxi or hitchhiking. was a lot of fun it was although would you believe i had a little siesta towards the end there audrey you sleep on every <laughs> mode of transportation you slept on the last train ride we went to to and on my 10. what can so. i say honestly it's just that like swaying motion back and forth as we were approaching the park my eyes were like starting to close like oh what's happening i was awake on the way back because we were yeah. chatting with um our nearby with our passengers with other passengers um, but yeah, like when you get on the train, they give you some headphones and you can listen to the history of the train yeah. and the prisoners who used to ride this train to work, to chop down trees. Yeah. So it's, it's really interesting. I we enjoyed you know it. What I found really interesting today was we met a, uh, our, our cab driver this morning was telling us that he came here on vacation like 41 years ago. Oh yeah. Came and, here for a month, never left. And he never left. And he, he said that the, at the time the, the city was just starting to grow 7,000. Mm -hmm. And now it's what, like 120. Yeah. So that shows you That's a how huge explosion. Exactly. Of this place has become wow. big. 
and it, it comes from very humble origins it used to basically be a penal colony exactly and very fascinating we, we it was just a, a beautiful journey too. lots of nice scenery mm -hmm. so so yeah that was good now we are back and we're just waiting to be picked up is the shuttle here it may be the shuttle might be here let's take a look back to town we go and now let's take a quick break so I can tell you about this week's video sponsor, which is Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to help you build and design your own website. And they make it super easy to do so with their portfolio designs where you can display your work using customizable galleries. If you're building a website for e-commerce purposes, they have these new third-party tools that can help you manage inventory, promote products, and ship items across the globe. Plus, you also have access to your analytics so you can track your traffic and find out how people are finding you. So if you want to check them out, you can go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and then once you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Samuel and Audrey to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now let's get back to the video because our adventure at the end of the world wasn't over yet. Next up, we're taking you to a cool little tea house set on a mountaintop. Well, we've arrived at the tea house. Well, we sure have. And we're drinking coffee. We have coffee. We coffee haven't at the had tea lunch house. today because we were on the train. Yeah. And basically have the day. So now we've arrived at the tea house. I've got my fifa leche. So. And we've got a marvelous looking piece of carrot cake. Mm. Look at that. Carrot cake with the cream, icing, cheese, icing, my friends. The real deal. And aside from this, we've also ordered two sandwiches. We have yeah. the classic um, like ham and cheese yeah. grilled sandwich and uh, focaccia with uh, Spanish yeah. ham. Spanish What's ham. it called? Camon crudo. Camon crudo. Yes. Mm. Audrey approved? Very good. Audrey approved. What's going on here, Sam? These sandwiches are a work of art. Indeed. I, look, at least appearance-wise, look like some of the nicest sandwiches we've had on our whole trip. Mm -hmm. Amazing looking. Um, I'm gonna try them both for you. Okay. So why don't I do this one first? What's that? That's the ham and cheese. Oh, the ham and cheese. Look at that. Mmm. Copious amount of ham in there. Mm -hmm. Look at all the cheese too. I feel like that delicious homemade bread's been cooked in butter. It's greasy in the hands. This is a good sandwich, guys. So this one is the focaccio, hamo, focaccio with hamon crudo. So I'm grabbing a nice big piece here. And cheese and arugula and yeah, a look pesto at that, guys. dressing. Look at that. Mm. Mm. As good as this one is, this one's even better. Oh, gourmet sandwich then. Yeah. Well, well. You're gonna like them both. This tea house was a good idea. <laughs> Fantastic idea. Okay, so that was our afternoon tea, afternoon coffee, actually. Delicious. Neither more, of us had tea. More like a meal. <laughs> this is basically like yeah, a lunch. Yeah, two very tasty sandwiches, a yeah. really yummy cake, good coffee, and the total was 20 US bucks, 10 per person. That's pretty good. Those yeah. are giant cups of coffee. They were like mugs of coffee. They were. I love that's, that. That's a big cup of coffee for Argentina, let me tell you. Yeah. And then from this point, you can either hike up to the glacier. We've been told it's about an hour and a half, two hours, depending yeah, on the Yeah, we don't have pace. time for that. No, and it's starting to rain. And we've seen some great vantage points driving up. We're yes. going to get some great views of the city, so. That is the plan. Let's do it. That is it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, we invite you to like and hit subscribe and we'll be seeing you very soon with more adventures from the end of the world. Ta-ta!